In this video, I want to show how to draw more complex roofs and how to intersect roofs. First, I draw a more complex roof. That's why I built such a house here. It has three floors. And I'm now drawing a roof on the top floor. To do this, I go into construction mode and click on Roof and select Polygon. Now it's important that I catch every corner exactly. If I don't catch a corner exactly, then the roof will be faulty and it then shows faulty spots. And when I'm done, I press the Escape key and the roof was drawn. This is what it looks like in 3D mode. And now I would adjust it. By the way, I have the wooden construction mode on here, so that I can also see the wooden construction on the roof. And I'm going to click on Roof now. Roof Site. And enter a gable on the left and right. And down here, also a gable. And now I could. Adjust the roof sides, for example, by entering a smaller angle. And I could, for example, enter a different height. Now we see that this little roof is higher than the rest of the roof. You can set the height exactly for each side of the roof. Or make it the same everywhere. I connect my pillars to the roof. I click on Dimensions Level. Here the tick is already selected. And now, I enter a different height and tick the box at Attach Top Edges at Roofs and I do the same here. It doesn't matter what height I enter because this column is cut off from the roof. And that's how the more complex roof looks when you draw it as a whole. It has the advantage that you can lift it completely, for example. And to close the gaps here on the sides. I click on the side walls once, go to construction. Level. Then set different levels from the story and simply enter a higher value. The walls are cut off from the roof anyway. It's also important to just make those walls higher if you raise the walls on the entire floor. This leads to faulty visualizations. Therefore, it is advisable to raise the walls only on the side here or to draw another floor on top. Next, I would draw the same roof, but with the help of two roofs. I'll delete it now. Click on construction again. And first draw a rectangular roof. Then I go to 2D elements and draw a guideline to be able to draw the other roof better. Then I go back to construction, to roof, and draw a second one. Rectangular roof. It doesn't matter where it starts. And draw it like this here. Now let's look at it in 3D mode. And we see that the roofs were inserted automatically. That's because here, under Project, under Intersert Roofs, 
all is selected. If I select none, then the roofs are not interserted. Only if intersert is selected, click all. Then roofs are cut. And the wooden construction is also blended together, as you can see. And that has the advantage that you can work on each roof individually, and I could, for example. Just lift this roof here. I'll make it a gable. And I could only lift the roof here in front. Or I could give this roof a different texture. I can't do that if the roof is drawn as a whole last. I wanted to show that. This roof can also be drawn differently. First of all, I fit the big roof. Then I draw another flat roof here in front. That only is up front here. I now make this roof a flat roof by. Select gable on three sides. And here for this side, I can enter the slope. I'll make it smaller. And that's a flat roof. Here above the balcony.